So some of you all have been asking for an update on the isopods and we got a lot of babies, so let's check it out. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard and today we're gonna to be feeding some isopods. I've gotten a lot of comments from you all asking for an update video on my isopods and I just noticed last week I had a lot of babies. So real quick, I'm just gonna show you what species I have, what their enclosures look like, how I'm feeding them, and hopefully we'll see some babies. It's important to note that I am not an expert on isopods, so don't come to me for care advice. If you want some in-depth information on these species and the best way to feed and care for them, I highly suggest you go check out Russ's channel. It's called Aquarimax Pets. He's like an isopod expert. It's who I go to. It's where I've learned everything that I know. I'll leave a link for his channel down below in the description. But with that being said, let's check out some isopods. I feed my isopods a mixture of different things. Some species seem to enjoy certain foods more than others, but I give them a wide variety, so hopefully everybody's happy. This includes things like fresh vegetables, carrots, and celery, sweet potatoes, stuff like that. I also feed them fish food. My dairy cows in particular really love beta fish food. Of course, I give them some cuddle bone for calcium, as well as some isopod specific food from Repishi like bug burger and morning wood. And I saw some posts on Reddit and a couple of isopod Facebook groups, people asking about feeding fingernails to their isopods, which I thought sounded pretty crazy. But I've got some fingernail clippings here, so we're gonna try it out, see if they'll eat them. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not an expert some of these species, I don't even know what they are. I got a couple of like mixed bags of isopods. So there's just a bunch of different types of isopods on one enclosure. So the colonies are a mess. But if I know the name, I will definitely mention it. And if I don't mention it and you know what they are, tell me down below in the comments because I would really like to figure that out. So first up, we're going to check out the rubber ducky isopods. Now, these things are always a little elusive. I have a hard time finding them. And part of that is because I made the enclosure too big. I only have five of them. Oh. Found a couple of them. Awesome. So I found at least three of them in there. So we'll drop in a little bit of food and Hopefully they'll start breeding soon. Now let's move on to the next one. These are the clown isopods that I actually got from Aquarimax Pets. Uh, I think their scientific name is Armadillium species Montenegro. I'm not 100% on that though. But this is an exciting colony because I had, I think 10 of them is what he sent me and they recently had babies. So there's a lot of tiny ones running around in there. Let's check it out. So since there's so many of them in here, I'm gonna give them a wide variety of food. I'll give them a little bit of carrot and celery. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in there. A little bit of beta food. They definitely seem to like fish food. And uh, some of that morning wood. Some cuddle bone. And a little bug burger. All right, I think that'll be good. Now this enclosure is kind of a mixed bag. I've got some mossy oak millipedes in there and then just like some random isopods. I, I don't even really know what all's in here, but let's check it out. So it's a good mixed bag of millipedes and isopods. Eventually I'm gonna separate them out, just have my millipedes in one enclosure, the isopods in the other. But we're gonna drop some food in there, see if they'll eat. As 
so cool I could watch these guys eat all day. Since they seem to have a good appetite, I'm gonna try feeding them a couple fingernails, see what happens. Well, I got no takers in this call. Nobody seemed very interested in eating fingernails. Can't blame them. Of course, it could be because I let off with some of their favorite foods. I know they really like that morning wood and the carrots. So this time we'll try the fingernails first. And this is a voracious quality. So I, I, I have a feeling they might they might be down. I gotta tell you, I am both intrigued and disgusted. I did not expect them to actually eat fingernails. Not only did they eat it, but they passed over morning wood, bug burger, carrots, and celery to go straight for the fingernails. It's fascinating, but terrifying. Well, I'm gonna give them some more food so they don't break out of their enclosure and eat my fingernails at night. Now these are dairy cow isopods, I think. They love to eat and there's a lot of them. So let's, let's see if they're interested in some fingernails as well. fighting over the fingernails, jeez. Those dudes just like to eat. I don't think it matters what I put in there. They're gonna eat it. They're eating good today. Now these aren't isopods. These are my rainbow millipedes, but they did have babies recently. So hopefully we can get a few of them on camera. This is the second to last one, and these are the blonde rubber ducky isopods. It's a smaller enclosure, so they're a little easier to find. We're just gonna keep them well fed and hope for some offspring soon. Now, this is the largest species of isopod that I have. And these guys are crazy. They, they, they're really large, they're also a little territorial and they really like to eat. And I say just a few fingernail clippings for them. See how it goes. Now I pretty much keep all of my isopods the same. Uh, some of them have more ventilation than others, but you may have noticed I kind of keep them in a microclimate. So one side of the enclosure is dry, the other side has a lot of moss and stuff like that, and I keep that damp. So they can regulate themselves. If they want a more moist environment, they can go to one side of the enclosure. If they're looking for something a little more dry, they can go to the other side. That's not something I came up with. I, I stole that idea straight from Aquarimax. And it's been working really well. All of my colonies seem to be thriving. But if you want a lot more in-depth information on the husbandry of specific species, again, check out Aquarimax Pets. I can't hype that dude enough. Now I got one more enclosure, and this is a, a millipede enclosure, and then that's it. Now these, I believe, are called the Texas Gold Millipedes. I'll put the uh, scientific name down below. Though the only one I see out right now is definitely not gold, but I've got a few of them. They're just deep down in the substrate.
So those are all of my millipedes and isopods, so you have officially been updated. And the rumor is true, isopods do eat fingernails. Now I'll have links below in the description for the morning wood and bug burger. So if you're curious as to what that was I was feeding them, you could check that out. And if you decide to purchase it, it won't cost you anything extra, but it is an affiliate link. So a small percentage of your purchase will come back and support this channel. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see some more isopod content, just click this playlist right here. And if you wanna check out my latest video, just watch this one right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Be kind to each other, and I will see you next time. <laughs>